Good morning and welcome to Room Service Breakfast Exploration. We have each ordered, uh, I think that's called their American Breakfast. Pot of coffee with some cups there. Well, they gave us jelly. Oh, because that is toast in there. Let's see what's under here. I think this is fruit. Oh, very nice. Good morning. morning from Curacao. We didn't move overnight. We're still here. This feels like Groundhog <laughs> Day with Bill Murray. It's Curacao all over again, but totally different. Love it. So we're heading out on an excursion today, independently booked with Irie Tours. We have done several Irie Tours in the past. We love riding around in hopefully those big colorful school buses. Yeah, it's we'll just a good happens. time. But this excursion is called Wonders of Curacao. Yeah. Caves, turtles, and beaches. Some new things that we haven't done before so super excited and guaranteed turtles so if you guys are always asking where can you see turtles yeah. this is where you can see turtles it's true you'll see you, you said sea turtles <laughs> y'all let's go let's explore i'm so excited let's go <laughs> hello again curacao so the instructions are to find the irie tours dispatcher here at the end of the pier we're like 20 minutes early <laughs> there's our sign yes we have got our wristbands, got all checked in, and we're ready to ride. Now we're gonna have a little wander now just outside so we can meet up with our driver, Bob. There he is. And there he goes. He's gonna turn around. <laughs> There's Bob, Bob came back. Just past the airport area now to the Hato Caves for some exploration. They have tortoises over there. All right, I guess this is going to be our entrance up here. We've got our tickets included with the tour. Hey, little friends, you guys don't really go, I guess, necessarily, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one over there, too. Inside the cave, there's no smoking. There's no touching or breaking anything inside the cave. Inside the cave, you can take pictures, but only in the last two rooms. So please be a little patient, and I'll let you know when and where we can take pictures. So we'll start the tour here, and I guess we will record whenever he tells us we can record. Well, I guess we can get the view from the top of the world before we go in. Nice. <laughs> We've reached the first room where we can take pictures and video, which is the window room. There's a natural window up at the top. We just saw a cute little cluster of bats, and I guess the bats go in and out of the window up there. So I'm gonna get a peek up to the actual window, which is about 60 feet above our heads. Now one thing that surprised me is that this is a warm and humid cave because we're above ground. I guess cave versus caverns. I'm used to caverns where you go down and it's cool. Not this one. Definitely you feel the humidity and the moisture, but they have fans everywhere to rotate and like keep the airflow going. But um, yeah, don't wear like a sweater in here and it's not like a, a, a cavern. Right. Okay, whatever I'm trying to say. It's not cold. <laughs> Alright, off to the last chamber. I'll listen for instructions, but I believe we can record this last room as well. Mm -hmm. I think he said the last two rooms. Oh, look at all these structures. Oh, there's like a blue I half over there. Up. Come a little closer, please. Okay. You'll be able to see different formations in the rocks. Jellyfish over here. Oh, I got a sleeping lady above my head, apparently. <laughs> I don't know if I can see that that close. Ooh. A laughing donkey. Okay, so if you look up here, you can see a horse with its mane. Over here, you can see a frog. Gosh, if you look at the rocks over here, that looks just like a clock. Hmm, funny. Yeah, they got a bunch of fans stationed down here. <laughs> Dee is a fan of these fans, I can tell. <laughs> I'll just stand in front of this fan myself. Ah. All right, 
Okay, that was our last room, so now we will exit back through the non-recordable rooms and head back outside. And we are back outside to the fresh air. One good thing about this is there's a giant cooler on the bus that is full of water and beer. Looks like a natural fan out here. <laughs> it's true. Made it back to ground level, <laughs> past the tortoises again. You want some pizza? Well, that's turtles, not tortoises. <laughs> They do have restrooms and things over there, but he said if we can, just head on right back to the bus. That way we got about a 45 minute ride to our next stop, which is turtle snorkeling. <laughs> From tortoises to turtles. There is the bus. Look at that cooler. It does look just like ice, but there's beer on the bottom. Waters all included. Welcome to Playa Piscato! They did have snorkels for folks to rent. Of course, we've come packing our own. Not rent, borrow. Oh, that's right. They're not even a charge for them. That's true. Yeah, they said the pier was destroyed about three weeks ago. They're currently doing some work on the pier, but the easiest entry will be either the left or right side of the pier here. All right, Dee is going to hit the water and see what kind of turtles she can see. We've got about an hour, nearly an hour here. There's the turtle cleaning station, I guess. And of course the turtles are drawn to this area because of all the fishermen who clean the fish. The scraps hit the water and the turtles love it. I see D way out there. They do have changing facilities. I know they said they had restrooms too. It's a dollar to use the restroom. And our rules that we learned for the day are do not touch the turtles. Do not stick your fingers out near the turtles if you value them and do not chase the turtles. All right, back up we go to the bus. So welcome to Playa Porta Marie. Now this is not Playa Porta Marie. This is the mud bath where the resident pigs, Willie and Molly, like to hang out. Man, they blend in really well. So these guys used to be little piglets that would run around the beach and steal people's bags if they had food in their bags. Now they are full grown lazy pigs just do this all day they're hot <laughs> smell like bacon get out of here ah, all right to the beach <laughs> oh, they do have lockers free restrooms changing facilities there is the bar there is the beach heck yeah the beach entry fee is included with our tour but chairs lunch things like that are not beach chairs three fifty. there you go so typically three dollar entry 350 beach chair Look at all this sandy beach. So we got one chair just to have a home for our stuff. This one looks relatively sandy overall. There's a nice little rocky, rocky area down here though. You know, water shoe mode. Oh, that's refreshing. Yeah, water shoe mode, even though I don't know that it was required. I see some pebbles and things. This has been the most fantasticest moment of the day so far, getting down in this water, which is actually a little more refreshing than I would have thought after a nice warm day and some warm caves. Oh, yeah. 
take a little peek at the actual beach. There's all sorts of like umbrellas and things you can rent, chairs, lots of sand. They have Dutch fish discos here. That is amazing. So we have two hours to enjoy this gloriousness. Yo, there's some giant, you see that parrot fish? Okay, you can really air snorkel for some big dudes up here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's another one. Hey, friend. Watching Mermaid D out here, she has been bouncing around from rock to rock to fish disco to rock. She's just she's gone. Speaking of rocks, glad we went with the water shoes. You can definitely find sandy areas to stand, but there are a good amount of rocky zones out here too. So shoes, good call. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> D is escaping from a, a fish, I think. I don't know why there's two of them. Look at that. Looks like this is. I don't know what's going on. Just wait till you see the video. <laughs> I was literally had the camera and I was like, oh, you're swimming right at me. You're swimming right at me. And I'm like, oh, you're swimming right at me. It was like just coming right to the camera. Wow. It's cute. Maybe it's, maybe it's one of your long lost not friends. Not trunks fish. The, well, I they call them cowfish. I don't know. Oh. They're, like they're, they look like a type of puffer fish. Okay. I that don't know funny. what it is. That <laughs> should look really cool on camera. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of scared me because he was like, oh, you are coming this way. <laughs> So ever since the two brown pigs, Willie and Woody, retired from beach roaming, we're told now that there are three black pigs that roam this beach, but not likely that you're gonna see them. They're still a little skittish. They're getting used to the fact that people come to this beach, but maybe over the next few years, uh, they'll just be free roaming, stealing people's bags too. Who knows? <laughs> We've made it down to this far end now, kind of where the beach stops and the rocky rock rocks begin. There's some folks taking pictures and just chilling out in kind of a grotto, as I keep calling it down here. It's getting quite rocky down there, so we actually got out and walked on the sand down here to our original beautiful entry point. We've got lots of rocks and things to explore out here. We've already seen Biggie greeted us first thing as we got in. Ooh, there's a lot of nice grottos over here. I see some folks in one. I can't tell if I'm pointing at them or not on this little camera screen, but that's a nice little nook. Some nice car alarms going off or something. Here's where they keep their D's out here. Get out of this ocean. What's somebody been eating? A uh, Kit Kat. Wait, is this a fancy flavor Kit Kat? Kit Kat White. Oh, well, it's gonna go in my pocket for now. <laughs> <laughs> 67 and a half fish just showed up. Oh, because there's a fish disco right over there. And it must be disco time. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is the one you keep talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. like the It's Oh, my God. 
Oh, you're very good. Hello. Very good. We've pretty much Porto Marie'd the heck out of Porto Marie today. We got in at that pier, went all the way down to that grotto, walked back, got in again, and now we've come all the way down here. So, I feel like we've done well today. Now those, I guess, used to be some stairs that you could use to climb up, and I think I remember there was a path that you could walk out. I don't know what's out there, but, you know, a path full of cactuses. You might still be able to, uh, like, come up there from the top side, but I'm not entirely sure. We've officially made our way over to the edge of this sort of, I keep using the word grotto, I don't know what it is, we'll just call it a um, coral nook. You can have your own private little beach right over here. Wow. We are down to about 30 minutes left, so I guess we will wander back toward the shore, slowly looking at stuff along the way, <laughs> and not getting distracted by fish, and get ready to dry off. Here comes the bus, Gus. Well, let's hop back on board. We have made a stop here at one of the old salt lakes to search for flamingos. I saw a couple in the distance as we were coming in, but he said they're pretty far back. And you might have to make a little run through some mud, so we might just sit right here and stare at this lake. Now we've been drinking water all day, but we decided the beer that's provided is Presidente. And I don't know that I've ever had a Presidente in my life, so we had to give it a try. It's not bad. You know I'm not a beer boy, but not bad. What are your thoughts on it? It's sweeter than I thought. It has like a bitter aftertaste as most beer does, but it's tolerable, like, you know, and needed calories. Probably not smart because we've eaten nothing since breakfast, well, but true. I'm only going to drink this one. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Well, we have made it back to Rotterdam safely. Well, now many of the shops are open. Oh, look at these waves. Um, okay. That's impressive. Here, let's watch one. Welcome home. Good evening. Y'all, we, dinner is open and we are Starving. <laughs> Now, we skipped lunch on purpose at Puerto Marie so that we could have more time in the water. Worth it. But that led to the fact that we are now hungry. So, I guess let's skip the wrap-up for now. We are going to run to dinner, and we'll catch you up at the very end of the day. Otherwise, we'll be in line forever. So, we'll see you in a minute. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to Dining Room. We are in the cabin and it is nighttime. Correct. 
yeah. So let's go ahead and jump back. We got to talk about our Irie Tours day around Curacao. So this is the third tour we've taken with Irie Tours, mm. I believe, and all of them are exceptional. This one we actually had time to do this one, which was really nice because I don't know that you can on like a shorter um, stay. That's true. But anyway, it was amazing. The caves were really cool. I didn't even know they had those here, mm. so that was really fun to see. Remember, it's warm in those caves, not cold. Real warm and humid. <laughs> Then we went to Playa Piscado, which I enjoyed more this time than last time. Um, something about it was slightly different and the turtles seemed to be a little more spread out, so not everybody had to be clumped together as much. I saw all sorts of fish as well. It was just nice. And I think we had an hour there, which was a lot of time. It was. If you, you know, swim around, you're going to see turtles. There's only about 10, but they do frequent it. So everybody's like, where do I see turtles? Right there. Right there. Yeah. Um, and then Puerto Marie mm -hmm. was amazing swam for about two hours you just went non-stop everywhere. and they had so many what I call fish discos mm -hmm. but they're actual coral structures out in the wild which was amazing such a variety of fish just absolutely beautiful water yeah it was a lovely lovely mm -hmm. day and oh yeah go ahead <laughs> carry on PSA though oh yeah because we had such a lovely day outdoors, oh, shoot, the yeah. sun in the Southern Caribbean is a lot more intense than it is in like the Bahamas. We're not rookie cruisers, but I did not put sunscreen on the back of my legs for some reason, and they are as pink as my pants I was wearing earlier. So yeah, yeah. ow, wear your sunscreen. Don't be dumb like I, us. <laughs> I didn't put any on at Playa Piscato. Fortunately, I was able to be under an umbrella part of the time, yeah. but then I did at Puerto Marie. I am in pain and very warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was it. I forgot what I was going to say I'm earlier. Sorry. It's all right. You know what? It probably wasn't that important anyway. Oh, no, I was going to say it. it's, it's nice too because they did a lot of hotel and resort pickups around the oh, area yeah. too on the way there and the way back. So you can do this if you're here by land mm -hmm. or by sea. It's a great day. That was it. It came back to me. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to dig in dinner because we haven't really done anything other than dinner. We had intended to go see Musicology, which was the Dance One or Step One Dance Company production of the evening. Came back to the cabin because work was piling up. You know, people say like hi. 40 emails. <laughs> I know. Insane. People always say, how do you cruise so much? Well, we work from the ship. So every now and then we have to take a half a day or a whole day, a chunk, a chunk, and do work. You know, it's it's all about finding a balance. We're not complaining. Oh, we no. Love what we do. But people ask all the time and we're just trying to like reiterate that you know this is what we have to do we yeah. can't show as much as we want to all the time but we couldn't show the show anyway we can't show yeah it, so you don't even know you didn't miss anything <laughs> but we just remember it's one of our favorite step one yeah. productions we'll so see it another time i'm sure we will because yeah. you know we're going on some more holland for sure um but yeah that's it so we came back and worked you know gave up the evening to do some mm -hmm. work and it was well worth it i got two videos edited you did a whole I, lot of emails everybody's yeah. the answer <laughs> Y'all quit talking about work, okay? Let's talk about dinner. <laughs> let's talk about important stuff. Yeah. So, hey, you had some chicken and chorizo soup. This was good. It reminded me sort of like a lentil soup or chili, but it had like mm. rice in it. It had a good flavors. It was not spicy. Um, yeah, it was very thick and filling, though. Nice. I would think chorizo might be like... It wasn't, Dang. though. Well, yeah. good. I had the quinoa and pumpkin. Now, this is something I think you've had before. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if I had. Pretty good, but it had a whole lot of mint. Yeah, when you're sunburned, you pitch kill easy. Whole lot of mint in it. Um, the predominant flavor of every bite was mint. Uh -huh. Not my favorite. I see how it could be good with just a little bit less mint. I don't remember that before. Yeah, hmm. but that dish was not mint for me. So I, oh <laughs> I see gosh. what you did there. You had a salad of some sort. It was pumpkin, feta, and arugula with tomatoes, and that's exactly what it was. Tasted just like it. It was really good. Nice. You are a much better descriptor than me. <laughs> Salad of some sort. Hey, I had some balls of some sort. No, that was a salt and codfish fritter. Uh, two of them, actually. Uh, very salty. It lives up to the name because of that salt fish in there. But good flavor overall. You definitely don't need seasoning because mm -mm, it's in there. Was Not like overly the fishy. Port yeah, that yeah. was like the, uh, I forget the word, to port to table or yeah. something like yeah. that. It's good. I like those. I'd eat those all day. <laughs> well, there's some screenshots I took of some maps. <laughs> hey, there's a picture of a salmon. This salmon was so good. It had like a mustard sauce on it and mashed potatoes and leeks, and it was beautifully cooked. I can't always say it perfectly. Mm. Um, yeah, really, really tasty though. I had. Oh gosh, what the heck is that? It's the curry, fish curry. Oh, that's right. But I mean, it doesn't look like fish curry. 
That's why I got so confused. When I saw it on the menu, I'm thinking fish curry as like a nice saucy dish with some rice that you soak it up. This was good though. I, I, I like the flavor of the rice and beans by themselves. I like the flavor of the fish and the curry sauce by themselves. I'm not sure that they played well together. It's a whole lot of flavors going on. I liked it. I'd get it again, but I still am tempted to eat the rice and beans separately hmm. and the fish curry separately. I don't know. Maybe that's just me <laughs> now that I remember what it was. Hey, I know what this is. You had ice cream sundae. Yeah, this is on the menu every night. So if you can't find something for dessert, this is always a good option. I don't think I've ever had it before, but um, it had little marshmallows on it and nuts and a little triangle that tasted just like an ice cream cone. It was really good and a perfect small size. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of small size, I had some small pieces of cheese. <laughs> this was four types of cheese. It's, uh, how do you, E-D-A-M, Edom? I just like to eat them. That's what I do to all <laughs> cheeses. It's Edom or Edom cheese. There's a Brie, there's a Gouda, and there's a Swiss. Mm. Good overall, but man, I miss having some blue cheese on my cheese Aww, plate. No, it was really good. <laughs> uh, I liked the little fig jam that they had going on. There was like one sort of a candied nut over there, kind of under the bread. I couldn't really see it, but <laughs> nice. You can't go wrong with a cheese plate, right? Nah. It was good. Yeah, we were starving, so food was needed. Mm. <laughs> Yo, you have reached the end of this video. Thanks uh, for hanging out. Yeah. Come back tomorrow where more hanging out will happen. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs>